Bold, I'm Valen, I'm from Free State, and I need your help about Euclidean geometry. Here's the question. I Okay, great question. Lovely use of similarity and proportion. Congrats on your TV. We will be in touch with you to finalize details. But let's check out your question. It says, AOB is the diameter of the circle O. Immediately, there are already some points in here that are very important. The center O means that it divides this diameter in half, okay? Because these are two radii. Also says that AOB is the diameter that automatically means that that angle over there is 90 degrees because remember a diameter subtends a 90 degrees on the circumference okay so automatically diameter 90 degrees and there are radii happening point d on the tangent at a okay so we have a tangent to the circle at a and point d lies on that tangent is joined to b and cuts the circle at C. So this diameter is joined to point D and the tangent to form a triangle. Lastly, it says that E is the midpoint of BC. So we know that these two are equal to each other. And EO meets the circle at M. Okay, so line from the center to the circumference, it's another radius. All three of these lines are equal to each other. Okay. So, my suggestion to you when you have a Euclidean geometry question like this, immediately, if you have what we call the love letter from your examiner, it's that nice little paragraph that explains your question, don't jump into what you're trying to find or prove or all of the questions. Spend time with the love letter and read it and look at your diagram and see what you can find on the diagram immediately before you even start trying to prove things. Okay, so the first question says... If OB is equal to 10 multiplied by the square root of 2 units, OB, ha, so we know that the radius is equal to 10 root 2. And EM is equal to 3 root 2, which is this little segment over there. Calculate the length of BC. Okay, so BC sits along here. Now, there are two things that we need to note. Firstly, that BC is equal to 2EB, given. Okay, so if I look, I have this little length here, and I know that this whole length here is equal to 10 square root 2, because remember, it's a radius. So MO is equal to OB, because they are radii. And therefore, MO is equal to 10 root 2. Now, the reason I'm going through this, because we're trying to find the length of EB. And I see that EB sits in this triangle here that has C, A, E over here, and O over there, and B over here. So if we can prove that these two lines are parallel to each other, we can use similarity. How do we prove that they're parallel? Well, we know that that's a 90 degrees over there because of angle in a semicircle. We also know that this angle here is 90 degrees. Why? Because remember, the moment you have a line that comes from the center of a circle and bisects a chord, these two are equal to each other. It is perpendicular to that chord. So we can say that EO is perpendicular to CB because line through center of the chord, or line through the center of the circle, bisects the chord, is perpendicular to that chord. Okay, so we know that that's 90 degrees there. We can also say that C2 is equal to 90 degrees because of angle in a semicircle. Therefore, CA is parallel to EO because corresponding angles are equal. Okay, so now that we've established over here that these two lines are parallel, we're trying to find EB. We have the length EO. 
we can find EO because it's a radius minus 3 root 2, which would be 7 root 2 because 10 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is 7 root 2. And we're trying to find EB. OK, so in order to find that, we don't even need to use this statement because that's not going to get us anywhere. We have a right angle triangle. We can use Pythagoras. We have one side, another side. We're trying to find the third. So after all of this, we've proven that we have a 90 degree triangle. So we can say EB squared is equal to um, 10 root 2 squared, because that's the hypotenuse, minus 7 root 2 squared. For those of you who are confused how I got that 7 root 2, remember that this line here, this whole line, OM, is a radius. And the radii are equal to 10 root 2. We also know that this little segment over here is 3 root 2. So that means that OE is equal to 10 root 2 minus 3 root 2, which is equal to 7 root 2. Okay. So, moving back to this over here, EB squared is equal to, well, 10 squared is 100, multiplied by the square root of 2 squared is just 2, minus 7 squared is 49, and the square root of 2 squared is 2. Okay, so now we can carry on. We get 200 over here minus 49 multiplied by 2 is 98 and that means that EB squared is equal to 102. Now remember EB squared is equal to 102 and so EB is equal to the square root of 102. Now don't forget to give a reason this is because of Pythagoras. Okay so EB is equal to the square root of 102. Now what they asked us was to find the length of BC. And BC, remember we said right at the beginning, is equal to 2EB. BC is equal to 2EB, which is equal to 2 multiplied by the square root of 102. Easy peasy. Next it says prove that angle C1, which is this angle over here, is equal to angle E2. Okay, well we've already basically done that. Remember we said that C2 is equal to 90 degrees, angle in a semicircle. Now we're trying to prove that C1 is 90 degrees. So C1 is 90 degrees because of angles on a straight line. Now we're trying to prove that C1 is equal to E2. E2 is 90 degrees. And we've proven that, remember, it was the line through the center that bisects a chord is also perpendicular to that chord. And so C1 is equal to E2. Easy peasy. Thirdly, it says prove that triangle BOE, this little one over here, is similar to triangle ADC. Okay, so we need to do it via angles because you don't have enough information about sides. So in triangle BOE and triangle ADC. Well, we've already proved that these angles here are equal to each other. So we have E2 is equal to C1, and we've proven that in the previous question. Now, remember what they gave to us. They said that this here is a tangent to the circle. So immediately we can think about the tan chord theorem. Angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by that chord on the circumference B2. And so we can say angle B2 is equal to angle A1 
Tan Pod Theorem. And lastly, if we look in our triangles, that means that angle O2 is equal to angle D, remaining angle in the triangle. And so, triangle B, O, E is similar to triangle A, D, C. And our reason is angle, angle, angle. Okay, because now we've proven that this angle here is equal to that angle there. Okay, lastly, it says, write the length of AC giving a reason. This may not be lastly. AC, okay, so AC sits over here. Now, how do we find the length of AC? Well, we've already found the length of OE. Remember, we said that OM is equal to OB, and the reason was radii, okay? Because remember, OB here is a radius, and so is this OM. This length OB was given to us as 10 root 2. EM was 3 root 2, and so EO is 7 root 2. Okay, so OM is equal to OB, which is 10 root 2. And therefore, OE, this little length over here, is equal to 10 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is equal to 7 root 2. Okay, now remember, we proved that these two lines were parallel to each other because their corresponding angles were equal. That means that these sides are in proportion to each other, and that means that AC is in proportion to OE. Because remember, base and base. But how do we know what proportion? Remember, we were told that this chord is bisected. So it means that BC, this whole long side, over BE, that side over there, is equal to this whole long side here, AC, over the short side, OE. And we know that BC over BE is 2 to 1 because there are 2 there and 1 there. So we have 2 is equal to AC over OE. And so AC is equal to 2 OE. And we just proved that OE is 7 root 2. So we're going to get 14 root 2. And the reason for this is line parallel to one side of the triangle. Because remember, the moment you draw a line parallel to the base of a triangle, it divides the other two sides in proportion to each other.